go make some slime. Slime. What's up, campers? Welcome to your first day of skills. This skill is all about being wacky, experimentation, and just having fun. So we come from a big family of scientists, and my dad even named you Ruthenium. But my friends call me Professor Ruthie. That's right, that's right. And my name is Professor Neutron. So each day you will join us for an instruction video here, and then we will give you an overview of each activity, and then you'll go and complete them on your own each day after. So every experiment, we will have the opportunity to learn something new about science. You may even get a little messy, that's right, which that's is the right. best part. That's right. So you may have noticed that you receive boxes with some supplies in it. One of your boxes should signify the wacky science skill. In this box, you will find a few important things. First, you will find a camper instructional card that lists the supplies you need and the steps to complete each activity. Second, you will find a few supplies for the activities. And third, you will find a parent card. So be sure to get that card to your parents. Absolutely. And so you need to know that while you are here with us this week, that you are no longer just campers, nope, nope. but you are now scientists. That's right. So scientists, it's your time to come up with your own new scientist name. It can be whatever you want. Anything. Maybe it's your favorite element mm. or your, an atom or even Professor Beaker, whatever, whatever you want. You want. Today, we are going to be experimenting with different forms of density. So, Professor Neutron, before we get started, I feel like we should probably tell them what density even is. I think that's a good idea. Density is a word that we use to describe how much space an object or substance takes up in relation to the amount of matter in the object or substance. That, that was a mouthful. So another way to say that is density is the amount of mass per unit of volume. So basically, if the object is heavy and really small and condensed, that just means it has a higher density. That is right. So we're gonna go ahead and get our experiment started. We're gonna share how to make these density jars and then you will go and do it on your own. All right, campers. So you're gonna need some honey a little bit of cooking oil. We're gonna have some dish soap, some water, and we'll also have a little bit of corn syrup. So we're gonna begin by placing a clear jar or cup in the middle of our experiment area. So make sure as you're pouring your things in that we don't pour it down the side of the cup. We wanna make sure it goes right in the middle. That is right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the honey into the jar. Now, you can pour as ever much honey you want. You wanna make sure that you pour the same amount of each ingredient into the jar. So we're gonna pour our honey in there, just like this. Ooh, look at that. That is looking good. Look at that honey. Kinda wanna taste some. Oh, oh, look yeah. at that. Beautiful, right there. So, after you pour the honey, then you're gonna pour the corn syrup and the dish soap. So I'm gonna pour the corn syrup. I Professor Ruthie is gonna pour the dish soap. Let's get that Whoa. corn syrup in there. Ooh, look at that. Make sure again to pour about the same amount of each ingredient. That looks about good. Let's get that dish All soap right, in dish there. Soap. Probably shouldn't eat this one. Oh yeah, don't eat dish soap. It's always a little questionable. To oh eat look at that. Experiment. That looks so cool. That is awesome. Well, scientists, let's take a look and see what is happening with our density jar. What do you notice? Help me answer this question. Are the ingredients separating? Or does it look like they're mixing together? Kinda, it kinda yeah. looks like they're separating. I mean, like the honey yeah. and then the dish soap, and it looks like it's all separated. Yeah, well, I wonder what will happen as we add more things. Oh, so I think we should go ahead and add our water and vegetable oil. So, Professor Ruthie is gonna add our water, and I have our vegetable oil right here. Let's see that, look at that. Oh, that's cool. All right, now let's add some vegetable oil in there. All right, Professor Newton. Oh, whoa. look at that. That looks, whoa. Oh, whoa. whoa, that is so cool. So scientists, I want you to examine what you created. How do the layers stack on top of each other? So I guess if you look at it, based on the density, meaning what was the heaviest and the most condensed, will form its way down to the bottom and then our lighter, less dense are making their way to the top. That is right. So guys, we hope you had so much fun with this experiment and learned some cool new things about density. I know I did. This is one of my favorite density experiments. That is right. So make sure you clean up your experiment area and wash your hands for 20 seconds using soap and warm water. And don't forget, grab your camper card for day one, gather all the ingredients that you're going to need, and just have some fun, scientists. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, scientists.